Hi, my name is Arkadiusz Trzciałek. I am a fixed income strategist at Pekao Bank Polski. We expect that the Polish sovereign curve will remain broadly stable by the end of the year. We revised our earlier end of year forecast slower and now expect that two year yields will remain close to 1.55%, five year yields 2.50%, and 10 year 3.20%. Amid the key drivers that led us to expect that the yields in Poland will remain flat is the MPC stance. The monetary body is keeping rates unchanged since 2015 and intends to do so at least until the end of 2019. Furthermore, inflation runs below the 2.5% target and is likely to remain subdued this year. The Ministry of Finance expects the 2018 fiscal deficit to come some 20 to 30 billion lower than initial plan. The robust budget performance has led to a low primary supply of bonds. Despite positive local factors, the monetary policy in Europe and the US is likely to limit scope for decline in Polish yields. Fed hikes combined with ECB rate pass discussion is pushing yields higher not only in developed markets, but in the EMs as well. Despite the fact that market is still pricing in a rate increase in Poland by the end of 2019, the MPC plans to keep rates on hold. We share the MPC view as our economists expect inflation to slow down by the end of this year, where CPI may go as low as 1.5%. Although inflation may increase in next year, the MPC is likely to ignore that fact should it be caused by administered prices. In such a scenario, the yields of short-term papers in Poland should stick close to the NBP reference rate. Although the bond supply in fourth quarter is likely to prove slightly higher than in third quarter, the net issuance will remain low due to large redemptions by the end of October. The Ministry of Finance is limiting bond supply this year, as thanks to a strong budget performance, the borrowing needs were lowered in the latest budget bill. Robust fiscal stance was so far limiting the volatility of the Polish bond market and did not warrant any surge in long-term yields. Spread on Polish bonds versus German and the US benchmarks narrowed over the course of 2018. The Polish market was rather immune to global trade tensions or EM-related sell-off so far. Nevertheless, we believe that the scope for PolGB's outperformance is limited. The global drive towards tightening of monetary conditions, namely the Fed hikes and the upcoming end of ECB QE, should put a floor on yields in Poland. Thank you for your attention. In case of any queries, please do not hesitate to contact me.